New York City's curbside municipal recycling program is the most extensive formal recycling program in North America. Each year, the city's municipal recycling facility, Sims Municipal Recycling in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, receives and sorts around 200,000 tons of material. This December, the Sims Municipal Recycling Facility of Sunset Park is celebrating its 10th anniversary in operation. While the ease and speed of disposability is convenient for New York City residents, it remains important to pay attention to waste management even after the materials are collected from the curb. Karen Napolitano is in charge of SMR's Recycling Education and Community Outreach Center, where she provides tours of the facility and informs New Yorkers, students, and corporations about recycling right. But most important, I want people to leave knowing that recycling is not the answer. We have to recognize where we're at and then look far forward. I see what I'm doing as like I'm planting seeds. This semester, I worked as an intern for Kara as an educational opportunity in connection with the urban geographer and NYU professor Rosalind Frederick's Discard Studies class. So we use in Discard Studies, as you as you know, um, we use waste and, and discards in general as a lens into broader questions. If there is waste somewhere or even the absence of waste because it's been eliminated, then looking more closely at its presence or absence can reveal a lot. Because in general, waste management is all about flow, right? It's all about keeping it moving out of sight, out of mind, right? Like SMR coworkers and also brother and sister-in-law duo, Santosh and Bindika Temulsina, began to pay more attention to their recycling habits only after it became their job as quality control specialists. I feel very, very good that I'm learning. I don't know nothing about the recycling. Then when I start here, slowly, slowly, I understand everything. While recycling felt relatively new, the Timulsimas emigrated from Nuwakot District in Kathmandu, Nepal, where they were no strangers to the country's waste management, which is typically relegated to the untouchable caste. They cast them like a chame pori. So we're not allowed to touch them, yeah, dumping site. It goes through my hometown. Those kind of like the lower caste kind of people live over there. So that's why government decided to throw over there. When I work here, it give, it give me more knowledge. So in my community too, everybody, I, I'm telling in my family, friends, do recycle like this, then this will be more helpful for others, also, right? Mm -hmm. Many of the Timosina's co-workers also share their experience of understanding waste through the context of different cultural backgrounds. According to Iveth Diaz, the HR director at SMR, Approximately 64% of employees are Latino, 5% are white, 29% are African American, and only 2% are Asian. Most of them are immigrant. Yeah, I see like um, different part of like um, world, you know, some from Africa, some from like uh, the Caribbean countries, some from like Spanish country. We, we used to have like eight Nepali people over here work over here, but they left. Santos recalls at least two employees quitting because SMR utilizes advanced sorting technologies and implemented Everest Lab robotic arms which work alongside human laborers on the picking lines. Uh, the two ladies, they, they was complaining uh, to the supervisor too, that noise, they say, they say they make them uncomfortable. So they request them to like put somewhere else, but like, you know, they keep forgetting them. That's why they decide to leave the job. Financial and job security has been important to the Timulsina's immigration process, as it is for their immigrant co-workers. Santosh is now closer than ever to reuniting with his wife, who is still in Nepal. We are from Nepal, right? This is the third world country, so we don't get that visa very easily, you know. After I get this job, I marry her. So after my wife came over here, it will be complete, you know. The Timulsinas are hopeful that Nepal's waste management will one day change for the better, like here in New York. People are not educated. So now they start getting educated. That's why they fight with the government. That's why the new mayor, they decided to do the recycle thing. You know, they are like inspired from here. SMR's 10th anniversary is a time to not only celebrate the site, but to appreciate the power of education and the immigrant labor that makes the facility what it is. So yeah, it's been a good journey. With Cooper Squared, this has been M. Ingram.